All right, guys, what is up? It is Gnomes. I'm here in a game between Guitar Ape and Tiny Dragon. Should be a great game. Has been going on for a little bit, about seven to eight minutes. So we missed the start, but <coughs> we'll see um, how it goes now. We have Tiny Dragon on the bottom hand side. He's the one playing uh, full faction IS Barbarians. That's what we have here. And then on the top hand side, we actually have a split. It's going to be IS, FS, and it looks like a paralytic strike battle group. Yeah. Paralytic Strike Battle Group, where um, you do double damage to Paralyzed Champions. The uh, Agent actually has Knockout, which does cause Paralyzed, so that's why you have that combo there. So Knockout to cause the Paralyzed, and then you do 20 damage with this one attack, right? Then again, you have the Inquisitor Magnus. Wait, it is Tiny Dragon, never mind. You have the uh, Frick Mind Treader over here, kind of trying to stay alive versus, versus the Magnus. Though with the um, Inquisition, it will be hard. We do have Paralyze. Oh, okay. Let me see that. So Paralyze on the Mind Treader as well. Oh, though. Valdaki Sweeper down here. He actually used the uh, Invigorate and Drive to get him all the way down to this bottom font. Oh, do, what was that? All right, we have Pride, which gives the um, Resolute as well as Assault, I believe. Yeah, salt plus resolute. Takes eight damage. He can just chill here, I guess, or he has to. He's not getting double tap, so he's actually kind of. Oh wait, but if he moves, he'll take the punish damage. Ah, that sucks. A bit annoying here. He can't step. Oh wait, he doesn't actually have detection on the carrier squire. The Curse Squire actually also will do 12 damage, surprisingly. 12 damage from him because of Reclaim and War Banner. So that would actually kill the Agent as well. Generally, he's only at, yeah, 8, so that would still be a kill. No, it would be one off. And so all the Inquisitor can really do is attack and then try to hope the Resolute's not up. Again, Lightning Skewer. So how this battle group works is not only do you have Paralytic Strike, but what you also have is... Um, uh, Bane Blast and Bane Blast does 12 damage. So yeah, it's he has this font. He has two fonts right now to zero. Two fonts to zero for Guitar Ape. But champion wise, I think the champions are kind of scarier for um, Tiny Dragon. The uh, Barbarians are some of the, the scariest champions there are. The Assault actually didn't go off there, did it? No. Yeah, I'm not sure how Assault works when it comes to ranged champions. It says basic attack, but if your basic attack is range, it doesn't work, right? So it's kind of weird. Okay, moves really far this way. Oh, going to give the action potion? Exactly. He's still paralyzed over here. Or sorry, pacified. But this will be a kill on the agent. There you go. Gets the Norglub as well. There you go. Yep, yeah, move up again. Or it does have lumbering, so I guess not. But he can elusive leap? No, he's just going to move forward with the in uh, interrogator. Interrogator is so cool, actually. I always... Thought Interrogator was one of those champions that are so extremely hard to get rid of and so efficient. But one, you never see her. And when I was making my Barbarian Battle Group, I also didn't play her. <laughs> it was weird. We're like in, in a vacuum. You're like, God damn, this champion is so fucking insane. Why would you never play? Like this is how how do you beat this, right? 74 Nora, which is like a very good Nora cost because it's just not too expensive. You know, it's 74 and you get a lot of good value for 74 Nora, right? Usually if it's too expensive, then some of the value goes away. Um, whereas if it's too cheap, they obviously aren't as insane when it comes to champions. But look at this. So you have 54 health, one defense, and that's like okay defense or okay uh, tankiness um, with 49 base. You know, you might die a bit quicker than you would hope, but you have the elusive leap. So that actually means you do actually tank pretty well. And then what you also have is punish assault. I believe this is base. I believe punish assault is base. Let me go check. Um, which means that if you just jump on any champion, then all of a sudden they just can't run away. Because if they were to try, they get disengaged, and then they um, get hit, and then they lose all their AP. Yeah. Punish Assault. Exactly. Punish and Assault are base, so it's really hard to get rid of her. She has Elusive Leap, so she can like be quite tanky. But then you also have Pummel, so you're doing great damage. So I really like this champion. I don't know. But whenever I played Barbarians, I was also like, hmm, there's so many good champions. There's so many good Barbarians, so it's just hard to choose. Anyway, 
So, I got a bit distracted, I wasn't looking at the map. Nine damage dealt to the exemplar. He can't, like I said, he can't run away from this interrogator now. And, like, in a 1v1, in, you know, 1v1, like, how do you kill this thing? It's just, it will always hit you. So, you, if he jumps on you, you're done. You can't do anything. And he just pummels you, and then he dodges every second attack. He's very, very strong. Or she. Okay. So, yeah, like I said, um, does have both fonts. Guitar up here and here. This uh, Magnus will die soonish. We have the sweep to, to get him off the font, which he just did. Also punish and assault here right now, only because the pride is up though. He doesn't normally have assault. Whereas this champion always has assault, right? <clears throat> but paralytic feedback means that you have to attack. Actually, yeah, the exemplar can't attack the prophet because of the paralytic feedback. Well, he could, but then he's, you know, paralyzed, so there's that. Is this four or greater? Boom, 12. Yeah, they like that pummel though. 24 damage plus 3, I believe it was. Was it 3 for the punish? It actually doesn't say. Yeah, no, it does right there. It's 3, yeah. So good hit. He's at 0 AP. 11. Yeah, you can't really double tap. I mean, they could do like throw shield plus attack. Would then be a kill, right? Because it's 9 plus 11. But then both of these champions are paralyzed, and then like one Grimlix Bane would be quite a bit. Even though it is IS, right? That's actually another thing that I didn't even think about. What was this? Sapping Beam, right? Yeah. Sapping Beam on the Vedaki Sweeper means he can't move, can't do anything. It says it right here, right? Sapping Beam. So Sapping Beam, what that does is whenever the champion would gain AP, it doesn't. So it's like, it's just stuck here now. Can't do anything. Gonna have to move the Gale Singer that way. Plays another spell. What spell was it? Bane Blast. Plays his own Bane Blast, actually. That's funny. Now the Exemplar is stunned. Might want to get out of this uh, Lightning Screw range. Because if he, like, goes over here... Does he have Deflect? No, he's Divert. Okay. Could actually go this way, too, now. So he's Paralyzed. So a Bane Blast would do 24 damage minus 3. So it'll be 21 damage. But he actually can't get over here to Lightning Skewer again if he wants to get in the font. Zero AP. This thing is ramping up in damage because of the adaptive. Gale? It won't work, no. Could get in the font, but then again, he's... If he gets in the font, he has this thing on him, the interrogator, right? So it's just very hard. <coughs> I think what his plan should be is don't even go. There's three versus one. You're never winning this, so you you uh, you go back with the prismatic wing, and exactly you double up over here. Yeah, exactly. That's what he does. Like, why would you try to have your prismatic wing go one v three for no reason? You know, you might as well just say, okay, I'm gonna just take this font, and how he did it. The Prismatic Wing can now um, get in this font down here. Yeah, of course. He needs this kill though ASAP. Because if a champion gets deployed here, if there's a deploy here, then he can just contest this font again. So I'm not sure if this Mangle Shell was the best deploy, to be honest. Because he has paralytic feedback himself. So if the Mangle Shell attacks, it'll just get paralyzed. So not exactly sure why you played this champion in the first place. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Gale would work if he wants it. You could battle him. He has to get in the font though. I just give up the font. I would say the idea is to like deploy here some good beater, exact or that. That's fine. Yeah, deploy this champion, which can contest this font. Exactly, and be in this one. So now he has four champions, all teaming up on the Magnus, teaming up on the War Banner. So he'll get value from killing these champions, getting the Normal Globe. Um, and in the meantime, 
the only thing tiny can dragon tiny dragon can do with his champs is like attack the the shrine right nothing else oh can he actually get over here no he can't get over there four ap one two three four no he's three off so exactly and this mind shredder does actually really well against the crusader in a way <clears throat> What was that? Ah, and still panic on the Gale Slinger. Gale Slinger is, um, does have Iron Will so because of the Prestige, so he can't actually be distracted. And it takes 8 damage. Nice to be afraid, though, because he has to protect this font now. Interrogator might go over there. Now it's one font to one font at the moment. He really wants this kill. 31 health, and he keeps healing because of the, um, the Consecration. You could go over here, get a lightning skewer off into a bane blast. I think that's a kill too. Or into an attack, right? Lightning skewer, bane blast, attack would be a kill. Go for the war banner. Is that a kill? Yeah, it does. Okay, perfect kill on the war banner too. Get the charge. He can gale here to do some damage. Yeah, it actually does ten damage. It's only back two spaces. Never mind. It'll be five damage. Does he go up here to protect? A bit awkward because he moved all the way down here. He really wants to kill this turn, right? If he kills, if he kills the Magnus this turn, he can't get like impervious. Nothing would happen, right? So I think just playing the. Uh, okay, I guess he's playing the agent, which means he probably doesn't have the Nora then. If he plays a sixty-six Nora champion, I doubt he has the Nora for a Bane Blast. He might have the Nora for the. For the I mean, he has the AP for the Lightning Skewer, but he can't Bane Blast. I'll take another 8 next turn, but he'll heal for 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's even in champions, even in font, so it's a very even game. But it's just like positioning, right? They're all about to go on the shrine, whereas um, Guitar Ape is protecting fonts, right? So it's a bit of a different dynamic here. But like usually when the enemy goes for the shrine, you're kind of happy, especially as IS. Ooh, he can just elusive leap over here though. Especially as IS, you're kind of happy when they uh, go for the shrine because you have the um, impervious when you come out. So if they like try to go for your shrine, you can just transfigure, go impervious, run away or attack, right? And you get loads of HP. Yeah, he's gonna go over here now with the exactly with the health or sorry the AP. Elusive leap won't really work because he can just stealth and then he won't disengage, right? Because the the assault only works if you disengage and if you're stealth, you can't you you can just run away for free. Eight damage. Oh, I didn't actually see. Yeah, I took eight, right? Yeah, the crusader took another eight, but also healed for eight. And if this crusader wants to stay in the font, he'll take eight every single turn. So it's really not fun for him to stay here. Like this is one of those cha this is one of those times where you're like, huh, I'm actually not gonna win this, am I? You take just sixteen damage every two turns. And the Crusader, like, he can move up, but then he'll be paralyzed, and then... I guess the Trail Halogun will uh, cleanse him, though. Yeah, but this Prismatic Wing move was a bit awkward, because he moved over here like he's going to do something against the Magnus, and then he moved back here. And now he could possibly threaten this font again, right? Let's see. 4 plus 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 6. So we need 3 more AP. And he already used the Gale, otherwise he could Gale himself over. Yeah, if he had the Gale himself, he could Gale himself over two spaces and then move up until here, but... Alright, there's the Magnus. Like I said, does have Punish, though no Assault this time. So he can run away kind of for free. Ooh, Divert! Oh, that was sick. Heh, what, what? Ah, here, from this! Yeah, okay, that's really good for him. Because now, the Battle Leader, he can just get a Battle Leader kill. Magnus just dies, he gets the Nora Globe, and he can use his Prismatic Wing to do something. So, I didn't even see the Divert, I forgot about that on the Prismatic. And he deploys, okay. I know, it wasn't a deploy, it was a, uh, what's it called? Divine Powers. So he's over here now, this Magnus, but he gets this font now. He can move over here now, he can use Battle Him. He's doing loads of damage to Crusader, he can go over here and attack. So, this font is pretty protected, this font is protected. And then he can just move this way now, and start dealing with these champions. He has elusive leap, but you can't dodge the lightning skewer. Getting over here. Like I said, if he had Gale, he'd be right here. But he can't. So very close, yeah. Divine powers, so 10 damage right there. Oh, can he do this? 
Seven, no, he's, he's too off. He had to be here. It's six bases, yeah, if he was here. Or no, here, actually. If he was here, he could Lightning Skewer. He's one, one AP off to get the Lightning Skewer on the Crusader. That's all you're really looking for when you're playing this IS battle group is where do I get a good double lightning skewer into Bane Blast, right? Because that's like 36 damage. It's 24 plus 12. Alright, stealth. He doesn't really want to be hit with the punish, but he also doesn't exactly know what to do here with the Primatic Wing. Like if he moves over here, for example, he'll get double tapped with Strike. It's just 20 damage for free. Or even more with Barrage, right? But on the other hand, moving this way is not so fun. Like why go for a tank? Like you don't really, this is <coughs> a bit of a beater, but he's also tanky, like I said, or she. Wow, Battle Matron? What a weird deploy. Or not, yeah, partially weird deploy, but a weird champion to have in the battle group. Yeah, this Crusader's dead. He has to run away. Crusader heals for a lot with the trail, so he has to just, like, give up the font, run away. He'll heal up. No punish. Only call, and he's at 4 AP. He could attack him, though. Oh, does he have leap? He does! That gives him the call. Yeah. So this will now be 4 extra damage, and with the barrage... Is it a kill? It's, let's see, plus 4? It is a barrage, 28. He's 1 off. He's 1 damage off, yeah. That's funny. So he'd have to play a spell. Yeah, runs away, like I said, good play. The only real play you can do, right? There's no point ever to just stay in the fawn and die. Yeah, he was one space too close to the interrogator, actually. If he had been here, it'd be better. Because then the elusive leap wouldn't work. He gave up the funk though. Right? So that's good. Or at least good for Guitar Ape in that way. It's a very fun game, actually. Because it's cool. Two cool battle groups by two good players. You don't see that as often. It's always like one good player playing meta, one good player playing some weird battle group hoping for someone bad right like if i play a weird battle group i want to play against someone bad even though i'm good just so it's even i think in general barbarians are stronger than this weird paralytic idea but he's, he's metafied it right like it's paralytic battle group which generally isn't that good but he made it meta he made it a meta version right he has the gale slinger which is a meta champion mango shell i don't know if it's a get meta champion but it's a 73 nora 46 range battle leader champ right so it can't be bad Not a range of a kill though here. You can do eight damage to the Crusader, but that's it. Moves up. He has to be afraid of the punish though. So moving here would be the best. And he gets yeah, he gets the lightning skewer here on either him or him. And that would go through elusive leap. He also has heal if he wants. He can heal, but he can't run away. There is the heal. Heals for 12, means he has to be attacked at least two more times. Yeah, both of these champions don't have 13 damage. Or he would need he would need 12. No, 13. He would need 13 damage, he would need 14 because of the one defense. So he has to get double tapped. Ooh, okay. Distracted. And uh, pacified again. Ooh, the lightning skewer finally going off. There we see the double lightning skewer, by the way. Now we could see the... Um, Double Lightning Skewer into a Bane Blast here. There you go. Bane Blast dealing 18 damage to both of them. And he's going to move forward and attack the uh, Exemplar. There you go. Nice kill. So now this Interrogator is passive. What, what spell causes Pacified, by the way? No idea what spell that is. Suppress. Suppress? I didn't know that existed. I haven't seen that in a long time. 40 Nora. Distracted 4, Pacified 4. Okay. And it cannot be cleansed. 
Hmm, nice. That's actually pretty good. It's Fort Nor though, so it's expensive. But it's good in this case, right? Look at that damage he did. 18. <coughs> or how much? Yeah, 18 um, damage from the spell on both of them. Again, 8 damage on the Crusader. Oh! He, can, he gave the rock terrain, so exactly. Magnus can move over here now. He can't cleanse Magnus. He gets this Norglobe, though, with the... With the um, he got the Norglobe because of the uh, mobility. He can get in this font if he wants. He can attack the Prismatic Wing once. Yeah, he's actually not in range. Unless he gets unless he has another Grand Action Potion, which I don't think he has. I think it's one off. Ooh, stun. That's a kill now, though, right? Yeah, exactly. Now that's a kill. He can get over here, and he gets this kill and the Noir Globe. But this Mangle Shell is in a bit of a... Like, having a 73 Noir Hero, which is supposed to be doing, like, big things, you know? Like, this champion is supposed to be doing big things, and it's just going to die. Or it's just uh, doing nothing, I mean. All right, so he's dead. He's not in the font, though. Yeah, he's not in this font over here. I thought he was going to move the interrogator over here, but he was afraid of the uh, invisible champion, right? There's one invisible champion here. The, uh, what is it called? Agent. Heal the, the, um, the heal was also nice from the transfigure. 18, healed for 7, and then 18, 18 with the Bane Blast. Ooh, there's the... That's a big healing. Barbarian Druid? Look at this. Heal Mass, Heal Champion, and Cleanse. He has three different healing abilities. Of course, the Cleanse, like I said, won't work on the Pacified, but Heal Mass, Heal Champion would be in one turn 18 healing on either of these champs. So he needs to get the kill this turn, kind of, or else they're just going to be back to full. He can't attack the Magnus because of the Paralytic Strike. Or the Paralytic Feedback, I mean. Though the um, Crater Squire might be dead. He was actually at 31 health through two defense. Very tanky with the domain. He can. No, he can't really do anything here to kill, get this kill. Because he can't give AP to, to the. So he can go for the shrine as well. <clears throat> Deal some more damage to Crusader with the sh Mind Shredder. He needs to protect this font, but. Because he transfigured, he's actually not getting as much Nora anymore. He could block off, though. That might be a good play to go here or something. Or here to block off. Divert, he could. He could, yeah, just go over here and divert. That way, the Magnus can't actually attack the Battle Matron. Though, that's the thing. Ah, yeah, you have mobility. So there's mobility on this Magnus. Ah, paralyzed. So there's the um, knockout, by the way. Yeah, one more attack next turn. Seven times two, no. Yeah, he's gonna move over here. Because you're not gonna attack here with the Matron because it's seven damage. So you can't double tap him anyway for next turn. Inspires the agent, that's kinda weird. Okay. Oh, he runs away, true. Yeah, I can kinda Oh, this heal mass is so huge. Look at this heal mass. Eighteen healing from the heal mass, and then another twelve from the heal champion. And then Soul Reaver. On whom? On him. Oh, sick. He's uh, cleansed. He can either now run away for the healing as well, or he just goes into the shrine, to the font maybe. I don't know. Yeah, look at this healing though. Boom. 18 healing. Sick healing here. And you have this trail still too. So once this um, pacified is removed, heal champion. He actually plays it on the crusader. I thought he would play it on the interrogator. Because Crusader kind of heals himself over over a few turns. And this champion is just so scary. Like, I think the Interrogator is way more scary than the Crusader. He's only 8 damage. But yeah, these four champions, once they come into the fight, you know, and he can even Transfigure, right? If he Transfigure, that would be another 7 healing on all these champions.
I don't think it's a good idea for Magnus to move here. You have a lot of value on him right now. Oh, sick. That's good, though. Gets in the font. And now the interrogator can, again, once it's pacified, will move in on the mangle shell. And his mind shredder is also having an awkward time. I don't think you do this, though. Because if you do this... Ah, oh, that's better, though. That's good. 13 damage. No, plus 2, plus 18. So 2 plus 18 plus 3. Wow. Good damage there. Yeah, 2 of the damage is because of the brand. He can use Gale again, though, I believe. I think Gale's up, right? So he can move him down here. He has to run away. He can't be engaged by the interrogator or he's fucked. He has the paralyze again or the lightning score, I mean. Attack once, retreat. He has so little damage, actually. Without the provision. With provision, the damage is scarier. He can Gale. Ooh, okay, or that. He has the battle hem. Is this a kill ever, though? He can't double tap. No, it's 13 damage only ever. Ah, now he's a double tap. Paralytic, oh, paralytic feedback, paralytic strike. Okay. That would be a kill, yeah. So this would be a kill with a psychic ping. Should maybe move here, though. Or, like, at least not be in double, the double um, engage range. Should move up one, maybe? Or else he gets double engaged by the interrogator. Yeah, but so he gained, he gained multi-attack from the provision offense and plus two damage. He gains race for pillar feedback. If the champion has three or more range against pillar. Oh, that's kind of cool. You can actually make a whole battle group around this now just because of this equipment. I didn't even think about that. Oh, he gets in the font top here. Nice. <clears throat> like I said, I think he has Gale up. Drive. There's still a agent over here somewhere. And this terrain will be gone next turn. This, uh... So this champion, the squire, is stuck on the... Is this your next turn? Ah, okay, no turn after. Eight damage. Oh, he heals, actually, so he's alive. He has to run away. He's dead next turn, though, anyway, right? To the mango shell, probably. He can move in with the interrogator. Ooh, the reinforce. That's such a sick reinforce. He's flying now with the druid. He can move up, attack here once. Getting this font is pretty crazy too, though. Oh, wow. There's so many things that you never see happening. These good players always see these lines that you don't think of, right? Like, my line is, like, retreat and do an attack. Their line is, let me move left with this champion, right with this champion, down with this champion. And you're like, what the hell is happening? They have just, like, four different ideas in their head. Crazy game. Constructed Warrior is really good, though. Ooh, detection! Oh, that's a huge misplay by Guitar Ape. He forgot about the Dark Raven form for detection. Is Pummel up? I believe Pummel's up. And it does 4 extra damage. So he's dead, yeah. Agent is just dead here with the Pummel. There you go. Look at that damage. 14 plus 4, and then another 14. Sick damage. He's just dead here, exactly. Magnus will get the kill. He'll get the Nora Globe easily peasily. He has to watch out for the Lightning Skewer though, right? That's one thing that he has to watch out for, but that was a nice play. Oh, he is in Lightning Skewer range, yeah. Let's see, four, five, six, seven. And then it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So he can Lightning Skewer both, but he can't Bane Blast both. So that's good. This Mind Shredder again is like, fuck, I was just killing him. <clears throat> okay, has the Faithless on him. Has this font, though. Having this font is pretty big. Now it's Right now, it's actually four fonts to zero. I didn't even see that. So even though we have a um, the advantage of having the Shrine not transfigured, it's four fonts to zero. One, two, 
I didn't even see that. I didn't think about it. Three, four. Because the champs on the board are very even, right? Very even. But just the uh, fonts is just way giant advantage here. All right, so here's the lightning screw I was talking about. But it's not a kill up. Oh, okay. Built. Ah, okay. See, I, I was saying this too. Nice Gale, though. Really sick Gale to move his own Gale Slinger or his own uh, Prismatic Wing forward. All right, he's going to Gale the Interrogator, finally. Gets the kill. So he's now saying, you know what? I'm up in fonts. Oh, move up hardcore. What's he put down here? It looks like he wants to put a Earthshaker here, but that wouldn't work on the Druid. I don't know. Yeah, he's just saying, you know what? I'm going to play spells, get kills, because you don't have any fonts. So I'm going to just play for the... But like I said, this terrain leaves next turn, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there you go. So now all these champions, I mean, he's stuck, kind of. What's this? Ah, uh, the Psychic Ping. I was wondering, I thought there was a uh, equipment deployed. Does he get over here? I mean, you never do this. This would be such a bad play. Cause then you have this, <laughs> you have this giant 103 h 103 hp champion, 19 damage versus a uh, a little bird. Like I don't think you ever move over here with the druid. I don't know why he didn't give it the AP over to the Magnus. Magnus would have double tapped, but I guess because no divert, eyes oh, divert. Yeah, no divert, not not deflect, just divert. Ah, oh, whatever. I don't know. I think he giving the AP to the druid is a bit weird. He can attack the Prismatic Wing once. Nice damage, actually. 10 damage. Plus another... Yeah, this uh, Brand is doing pretty well. Did two, uh, 4 extra damage there. Constricted can't move into the font, right? Can't actually get over there because of the Mind Shredder blocking off the, the space. Heal Mass. Heal for another 18. Sick. Sick healing. And now this Barbarian Druid is kind of threatening this top font, but not really. Because he doesn't have the AP. He doesn't have Grant Action Potion, and there's nothing else he could do. He could, he could instill Panic himself. All right, and that would move him up four, and then he could get into the font. So that's a play. Hmm. Paralytic feedback on him is kind of cool. Or like the idea of this, this um this relic or equipment, I mean. Ooh, Barbarian Archer, okay. With mobility and brutality. But now look, both of these champions are by themselves. Like this this matron is stuck on the tar. And so it's moving three spaces and it can't do anything. Right? It's just dead next turn, basically. There's no assault on the Magnus. Paralyze, okay. Paralytic Strike going to go off here for 28 damage. Or even more, actually. I think this is 30 damage? I'm not sure how this works with the defense. But if it works like it, I think it should, it should be 30 damage. Because it's double. So you do 15 plus double is then 30. Or does it calculate before the minus 1 defense? Hmm. Yeah, this is going to be a lot of damage at least, no matter what. And these champions are all stuck, right? He's lumbering here. She can't do anything. Oh, no. Man, this pacified is so strong. Because the purified will make it so the distracted doesn't go off. But the pacified can't be cleansed. 29. Okay, that's I don't get that at all. So it does minus one damage. But then it doesn't for the other attack. So it's 29, whatever. 21 damage dealt. Not bad. Suppress again. Why? Does he play double suppress or something? Horn of Order. Ah, he wants another attack. 14? It's not a kill, though. Yeah, it's not a kill. He would have needed to drive first. He's at 14. Yeah, he would actually have needed to drive. 13 health. Yeah, kind of an awkward play there. Like, I would, I don't know. He's playing a lot of stuff that aren't champions. I'm a, As an SP player, I'm like, why play more champions, bro? Did he drive himself? He didn't even use drive on the Prismatic Wing before attacking there. He's going to heal. We could have driven, though, and dealt two more damage.
Got myself some coffee. Game, game isn't going on for a while. Wait, got the kill here now. Ah, from the psychic ping. There you go. True, I forgot about that. So he doesn't get the kill, though, for the battle leader. He could think of moving forward. He's a bit afraid to strike, though. Strike and Sunder would cause this champion to die rather quickly. Yeah, he's threatening to go top with the druid next turn. And this this Gale Slinger is like, fuck. Because, like, a turtle is, like, the slowest champion in the game. Eh, it's like, I'm on the tar. What do I do? Fucking tar pits, man. Ooh, double... Double Barbarian Archer. I'm gonna just double tap here, put him at 34 health. Two of these. 70 Nora with Brutality Sunder. Such and mobility. So it's rather hard to get on this champion because he has an okay range. Plus you can always just run away easily. And you're just double tapping with Sunder. So very strong champion. You don't see him too often though. Cleanses himself. Ooh, okay. 12. And they lose AP. AP, I didn't know that. You know it's defense and you uh, lose AP. Move in here. A bit of scary. This Mind Treader now has the, um, the Horn of Order on him. So using... Yeah, because of the Horn of Order, you don't really want to have him die. He's worth 40 more Nora, or 50 even. Can he get a kill? He could have. He just did it. Like, he could have moved over here and attacked. And then gotten the kill with the Mango Shell. Yeah, he misplayed this. because He wanted the kill with him because I would have given him Battle Leader. A bit of a misplay. But minor. You can attack the archer ones. He needs to be so scared though, because what we could see is double tap, double tap, which would put him at one defense and then have him deploy transfigure, right? Deploy some champion here, transfigure, and then just go for the shrine. So he has to be very afraid of these two archers. But otherwise, why not just move in and attack? Or engage, right? Like, the play should be either engage or exactly attack. Or does he just give himself impervious? No, he heals. Okay. All right, so I think I'm 100% sure Time Dragon goes for the, sh the Avatar now. And nothing else. He's always just going to go for the Avatar now. He's going to say, look, I have mobility. I can move all the way up. He's going to move over here. Move him this way to the shrine. Exactly. There you go. And now he's going to go for the kill here. I knew it. You always do that. It's always the play. You're losing every font. You're never going for the kill now. Or the, um, you're never not going for the kill. And he has two double taps, right? Which costs under. Like, this was always the play. So moving like this was horrible. <laughs> I mean, he, he moved in because he wanted to help. But if you're deploying anyway, you have enough. Like, I, the only time I would. Oh, he doesn't get deployed though. No deploy. He can move in and attack once. We have two things. One, we have. Divine Shield, if he wants it. Look at his damage, though. Minus, so he's at three defense now. Now at one defense. And at 73 health. And he can attack once here for 19 damage. Exactly. So, in the coming turns, we're going to have to see every one of these champions die. Or Samir just dies, right? He has Divine Shield, though. He has Divine Shield. Endurance. It's still in the Prismatic Wing, so he can't use the Lightning Skewer. This Sunder is so huge. Next turn, he just Sunders more, and then he's dead. So, if he gets two double taps off next turn, he's just, yeah. And we talked about this, though. He might play his own Macadamize, which would let him run away, though. Right now he's uh, engaged. But yeah. It's so funny that he's going to win like this. Because I saw it coming. I think I think so did. 
the second guitar a played and uh play, pressed and turn he's like wait i kind of moved too far forwards if you're ever playing against a champion with sunder or strike you do not move your avatar forward generally because it's so dangerous especially if you have two like this oh sick gravity flux that won't work for the lightning screw like he was usually use this for the lightning screw play but he instead moved them all forward so now this archer is stuck and the archer is stuck ah! <laughs> finally gets the gale slinger over here oh he has battle him again okay he can run away maybe Run away, move him forward, spatial displasia, displasia, maybe? Something like that. He Oh, the drive. He has a double tap. Is he going for the this archer or this archer? Or is he going for the avatar himself? I'm so confused. There's the invade. 21 damage. It looks like he might be going for the Magnus. Oh my god. The lightning skewer going off. 20, 44. <laughs> he just dealt 44 damage. Okay, not bad. He just dealt 88 damage. <laughs> he dealt two hits. He had 23. How does he have so much damage? Inspired, Driven, Revere, In Domain. He has 23 damage, double taps with the Lightning Skewer. Oh my god. He just doubled. <laughs> he just dealt 44 two times. Oh no. And yeah, that's just GG now because now he doesn't even have the damage. Tiny Dragon doesn't even have the damage to kill the Samir, right? The Barbarian Archer can't attack this turn, right? Archer is dead next turn. Barbarian Druid is probably dead. And then he just runs away. He just runs away with the uh, Samir. He's hoping. He's like, yo, keep me alive. Oh, that was such a sick, such a sick play with the, um... Oh, the Rally. I mean, it won't really help, though. He has enough range damage here, doesn't he? Oh, he's paralyzed. He's paralyzed, though. Paralyzed with the mango shell. So maybe he doesn't have the range damage to kill the barbarian archer now. I was gonna say he does, but without the... Without the, uh... <laughs> 20, 44 damage. That was fun. That was cool. It was so cool. It was... Where is it? Here? No. Where'd it go? I can't see it. So... 12, 12, 12, 12. So it's Gravity Flux, Lightning Skewer, and then 44, 44. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, he's trying to engage these. Uh, yeah, he's engaging the Samir, so he can't actually run away. That's pretty good. Samir can't run away next turn, and if he gets double tapped from this avatar, he might be dead. Ooh, this is actually scarier than I thought. Yeah, because now Guitare has to kill... The Barbarian Archer and the Druid and somehow run away. And he already used his own Macadamize over here. So because he own and he can't attack with the Mangle Shell. And I believe Drive is loss of life. It doesn't count as an attack. Oh, he is paralyzed though. He can paralyze one of the champions. <laughs> and he has Assault. Oh. Just getting double tap from him. If he can remove the Samir, but I don't think he can. Oh, it's so close. Nice. I, I thought, oh, okay. So he uses the Spatial Displasia to move the Barbarian Druid. Why didn't he play it here, actually? Wouldn't that have been... Wouldn't that have moved him, too, over one? He played it here, surprisingly, instead of here. Because that would have disengaged both of these. But he'd only disengaged him. What's he do? How does he keep his avatar alive? He, gets, he just gets double tapped, though. He just, he gets double tap from this Samir. And he has Resolute up for sure, right? He doesn't have Revere. He doesn't have Gale. He might have this Paralyzed, though. But he has to somehow get off of this. So if he can, oh, he does have Gale. Okay, I didn't see that coming. I didn't think he had Gale. But then why not move the, why not Gale the Archer over here? And then run. Guard tower. He's trying to get him tanky, I guess. He's at six defense now on this Samir. Alright, kills this. Alright, kills the Barbarian Druid. 
He can surround. Yeah, if he surrounds the archer, then the archer can't attack. So now it's really just this avatar trying to kill this avatar. That's it. Premonition. Dude, imagine he played like a Gritma him. How hilarious would that be? Double tap. He's at 25 health though. He's pretty tanky. Bane Blast on his own champion. He's at 9 health. GG! Close game though. Fucking close. GG.